Hello, dearest loved ones. It's Shannon picking up dust in the base hostel lounge. Been house hunting this week. So my my enjoyment. Um, I was gonna start hunting for a bedroom. I thought I was gonna rent a one bedroom place, but no one wanted to give me a bed. I don't have a bed. So I was shit out of luck. Um, I did see two places. I went to see one, a really nice view. Water. I like water. And then uh, there was this other house, not snow view at all, but um, a big closet. And two brothers there. Fine brothers. They were Dutch. They were tall, blonde. Loved it. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. Um, anyway, so this morning, <laughs> so this morning, when I'm sitting here in this big lounge, doing the, the internet to find the bedrooms and stuff, I decided that since I wasn't the only one looking for a place to stay, <laughs> there was just heaps and heaps of other backpackers who were homeless and jobless, it's gone. It's cracked a bunch up. of us decided to gather up and get a house together. <laughs> So now we've got Thomas here, and we've got David here. They're just two of my eight, no, my seven other roommates. <laughs> Except for Gary. <laughs> Don't you want to watch his back? We're deciding on Gary. It's a, yeah, Gary's a problem. It's a tricky issue. Yeah. Tricky issue is a good way to say it. Um, Gary smells. <laughs> He's got bad teeth, then. He's got bad teeth. Uh, so we don't know what to do. Um, Jimmy Jones, have, have a look at Yannicka. She's going to be living with us too. Show me her face. Yeah. Right in your face, that was. Uh -huh. So we're all going to find a house. We don't know where we're going to live in, so we've discussed um, building with hammocks. What else did we discuss? Um, oh, just communal mattress, right? Yeah. yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Just get a couple of king size mats and putting them. So all eight of us yeah. sleep there together. Be yeah, alright. Nice, nice and cozy. It's warm, it's cold in New Zealand. Exactly, yeah. And, um, so that's about it. So, the next steps in oh, my no. little life is to get a house with my eight new flatmates. And,. That's what we're gonna do. So anyway, y'all take care. There'll be more updates to come. Peace out. <laughs> I'm alive and well and healthy. Except there was some vomiting last night. Sorry guys. <laughs> you were disgraced. Sorry. You vomited last night. Normally I vomit the next day, but last night it happened for that night. But otherwise it was obviously because I was drinking. We all know it was because I was drinking. <laughs> it's okay. And, uh, yeah. That sums it up. Cool. Jones. No worries, can't gonna finish it now. Um, hey hey! Still Shannon, picking up dust in New Zealand still. Got my um, bunch of my roommates with me, but they're not really roommates because there's no room about it. We've got David. Come on in Yannicka. I want to say hello. Yannicka's from Norway, David's from England. That way, they went to the museum today. I did nothing, I got fucking hammered last night, that's what I did. Whoopsies! Um, but we're still homeless, we have a place to live. Hasn't been good. <laughs> we're hoping maybe there's an apartment we can get in. Um, it's, uh, it's $650 a week, but it's got a pool. probably be able to like find um, because normally when we've got the key cut they request a tenancy agreement before they cut a key and you have to let the agent know when you're doing it but I'm thinking we might be able to find like a Chinaman somewhere who will just do a key cut for you know 10 bucks and no questions asked so I, so I think that'll be fine the only issue is going to be the swipe cards we're not going to be able to get extra swipe cards I don't think because but you can just hang around like outside so uh, we're going to have to work something out. We've got three, yes. Yeah. So I think between five of us, we'll just pass it around. We'll, work, we'll just have to work out. We'll just have to be a bit more organised as to what we're doing on any given day to make sure people can get in and out of the place. But, you know, even if we just stick everyone's... 
Yes, and so much bigger as well, because like when you said it was bigger, I was like, oh, is it bigger? All I could picture was that Indian guy's place, you know? <laughs> um, but what I'm think what we were thinking is we might look into um, getting onto trade me and see if we've got like, a really, really cheap foot on, because that will fold away and we've got space for it, so I think that might be the way forward, so so much better. Plus, if we get inspections, it looks better, it just looks like no, we wanted extra seat in and we've got bought it, so... Cool. Got futon. Okay, great. Hannah, okay. Laura, and I are the well, official tenants of this apartment. Are. Welcome to our humble abode. <laughs> <laughs> we have a roof over our heads. Yeah. Uh, uh, and a kitchen. Yeah, kitchen slash dining room slash living room. All slash bedroom. Space. Bedroom. <laughs> you want to hope our property manager does not get hold of this video blog. <laughs> it's got complete evidence with, that we intend to uh, live here illegally and butch of our tenants. We're, we're only bringing in two, two other guys, right? That's right. Yeah, that's not too bad. And it's only because the landlord is charging us extortionate amounts of money and trying to profiteer as a result of a sporting tournament, uh -huh. which is downright uncharitable. <laughs> We're just trying to survive. We're poor travelers. We are poor little backpackers. <laughs> but yeah. now we don't live in a backpackers anymore. We live in an apartment. Whoop, whoop. With a beautiful view of mm -hmm. buildings, but the harbor too. And more importantly, we have fine wine delivery. Yeah, <laughs> next door. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is my new view. There's no palm tree though, but it's okay. Secretly, I wanted a palm tree in my front yard.